Paul McLean, 96 games experience in the NRL in charge of this one. Let's go, fellas. Simon to hang it up nice and high to try and give his chasers plenty of time. Big spread from Canterbury immediately for Silver to be taken in front of his own posts. Dennis Scott. Release the two here. Wait, we Still just out. inside their 20. And a fumble. Big mistake early. What a start this could be for the Warriors. Yeah, what a fantastic start from the Warriors. Really chasing up hard. The Bulldogs tried to throw it out wide. And just a little fumble there at the play of the ball. Lock, stay in, Travis. Get in there. Stay. Go. Quickly out for Simon. Looking for runners, still time to get it off. One, bring it back, Just that early touch for Boise Nelson. Logan Swan. Play two, ten set, get out of there, wait. Go. Awkwardly came out for Mears for Simon to get it started to Jones with a terrific ball over the top. Hermanson gets up, he loses it, Carl. So mistakes a piece all square. And that's a letter for the Bulldogs. Good play from the Warriors. They set themselves wide, had plenty of decoy runners. A great take by Hermanson, but just as he's trying to get up, loses control of the ball. Stay in there, Locks. Stay. Let off for the Bulldogs. Glenn Hughes. Now, I think we're going to see this go on report. Yeah. Nigel Both Wagner, you. without a Both doubt, you. with this dangerous lifting away. tackle. Here both of you. What's happened? We've got a problem. The players ended up in a dangerous position. From where I was, I don't know if there's a hand in between. But both of you are going on reports for the tackles. The two of you are involved in it. So Simon and Nigel Wagner go as on report. I don't think there's any doubt about it being dangerous. Well, they've just got to watch where the, the hands go. And he's always just trying to look to get a quick play of the ball. But I think that Nigel will be safe on that one. And again they go wide for Norton. Norton to the outside of one, looking back on the inside. Silver staying up at dummy half for a rush for Stewart to maybe just send it into the end goal. Doherty on the brakes, got Hoppy as well. The chase is on. Norton, Doherty for Hoppy. Silver against Hoppy. And in the end, dragged down by Berrigan on the break. Looking for the quick play of the ball. Berrigan's in the bin, surely. He's gone for 10, the Bulldogs down to 12. Simon looking for a quick restart. The Bulldogs are still stretched. Didn't worry about the two. They might come up with it. Odell Manuel just inside the 10. Back they come through Simon. Trying, looking to think about that long ball out. But the Bulldogs were up quickly. Simon, Stacey Jones now. Mears puts it down. What an opportunity lost. Stewart. Again for Reed and just pushes it back. Not surprisingly that they're going to have a bit of trouble tonight with these jumpers that are so closely matched. Hermanson. Two on Mavavi. The doors open again down to 12 for Bulldogs with Berrigan in the bin. Just five away, the Warriors. Simon, Jones, on the inside, Joe Buggenhart crashes through. They went over to question the plane about something. I'm not sure what that was, but this move brilliantly worked for Big Joe on the inside. Fantastic set play off a turnover from the Bulldogs. And it's a nice inside reverse pass. Joe Vargenau reads it well. And that's a fantastic start. Yes, it's always great when you when your plan moves and they work for you. Here's the turnover that got the Warriors that try. John Simon and Stacey Jones, though, are combining really well. Here we see them. Simons and Jones combining well. Big Joe steaming out the back there. He saw that line and there was nothing. Bang, going to stop him. Good start for the Warriors. Can you believe it? Pretty easy one was the one that breaks that record. 
Do they have it through the try? 4 0. They'll do it all again. Another set of six coming up. And Simon to wind up Jerry Sue. See you again. This time they put him down. And then here comes Joe Vogan right up the middle. Me is allowed to scurry out and nearly get away from Silva. Turns them right around and just five away. Simon for Jones. Out wide for Boise Nelson. Odell Manuel's got it. They're going to check upstairs. This will be the shot to tell us if everybody's on side. It doesn't show it. Looks to be okay. There was no call from a touch judge who was in a perfect position. Okay. Right Just one more check for the man upstairs. There's not a great deal in it. But he's okay. He's back on the 10 meter line, actually. So there's not a problem with the try. And already sending this one up for Odell Manuel. More tries for the Warriors. Halligan with the restart. The Dogs. Won their last seven matches, but now in early trouble against the Warriors. See you, see you. Straight through one as they wind up again. Well, they really have lifted themselves, the Warriors. Knowing that with 12 men, errors in their own half, five for the Bulldogs. And they will have to watch Robert Mears. His scurries out of dummy half have been turning the Bulldogs right around. He's got plenty of support as well. Joe Wagner. Four Bulldogs required to come in on that tackle. To a Mavavi. Showed it outside. Nearly got in behind the line. Simon. Putting up a midfield bomb out wide now. Falling for Hoppy. Pushes it back for Logan Swan. He's going to go to the end goal for Nigel Wagner. Halligan. On fire, the Warriors and the Bulldogs in a pretty deep hole. What a kick from Swan. Brilliantly kept alive. And he did them all with pace. The Warriors have put in seven kicks, and each one of them have been magical. Just look at the height of the bomb goes up. It just turns completely away from our Masary. The ball comes back. Logan Swan, he puts one through. Everybody's having a kicking game. And look at the pace from Wagner. Gets through. Yes, that is a sensational try when you look at it. Fantastic stuff. There's a lot of communication going out there. John Simon's talking all the time. So the outside backs, they know when it kicks on. Look at that. The follow through. Wagner, plenty of pace. Great try. Get off the back of the mine. Great concentration to try and grab this one. And he's missed this one as well. Let's get it in, Auckland. Watch, stay in. Go. Silver used as the decoy to go back out. Go, Warriors. Stewart just running easily out of dummy half. Taken in the end by Hermanson quite heavily. Ward fighting with them right near the post, still looking to unload the ball. Stewart quickly back on the inside for Stone. Stone for Norton. Norton to try and take on Tua Mavavi. In the end, it's still travelling out wide for Shane Martin. Norton. This defence is holding and it will send the Bulldogs down to the last tackle. They rush up against Stewart. He just took the heat of that, set himself, put it out wide for El Masri. Put down by Nigel Wagner. Darren Britz 
got six more. Does he get there? He gets it down. <laughs> got to hand it to the cool experience of Ricky Stewart, who was under pressure. Came up with a great bomb out wide for Brett to finish off. It's just a fantastic kick. Logan Swan, he does the right thing, just want to put pressure on Stewart. But it's just a great kick. We've seen plenty tonight. And look at the determination from Brett to stands and the tackle goes over. Yeah, Ricky Stewart's one of those players who can really turn a game. I've played in the same sides, and those kicks are very, very hard. When he kicks the ball, they swirl around up in the air. I used to love it when it went up playing against opposition and sides. They're very hard to take. Not for Darren Britt, though, the big front rower. Don't you love seeing front rowers score tries? Great stuff, Brittany. Halligan. Can you believe it? Best in the business has caught the bug here at Ericsson. 12-4. Let's get it in. Get it in now. Plenty of mistakes from both sides. Very good. Adam Peak. Two back to me, no penalties. Now, Darren Britt with support. Red will play it inside the 20. Stone. Well taken by Perry. Still travelling, Perry. What an effort this is. What a try. Just going to check whether he got it down clean, but how many players had an opportunity to stop him? Oh, we'll have a look, and there's, <laughs> it looked like there were four or five hanging off him. And Johnny Simon's down low, and he just keeps on his feet, just pumping those big legs through. Cliff Beverly can't get him. Robert Mears is having another go, and he just stays on his feet, stretching out. Well, he's lost that one. There might be an escape here for the Warriors after some poor defence, but a brilliant run from Perry will result in this one. Going astray. Jones. Looking for runners for a long time, but nobody got there. Bulldogs rushed, rushed up, made him go back outside the 10. Now another penalty. And this one right in front of the post. We might yet get our first goal of the night. Well, they've got to keep watching themselves. The ref, he's having plenty of uh, plenty looks at the Bulldogs. The players, hands all over there, laying over. We've already seen one in the bin. Really do. We should have a better advantage over the Bulldogs. There's three tries looking pretty lonely until this goal now to give them... Ten point comfort zone. 14 4. And the Bulldogs really, it's just a wide passing game from Stewart. All the fact that some of their players were able to stand in the tackle, those are the two areas that are causing the Warriors some concern. That's an Masri. Now Barry Wood. Player that can often spark up this Bulldogs pack. They're going to need it in this second half, especially. Time just about gone on the first 40. Stewart looking for Silver. And Adam Peak does the chasing to make the tackle on Beverly. Nelson. And that's all there is as far as the first 40 is concerned. But at home tonight, the Warriors have it travelling. Bit of comfort for them at the break as well. Three tries to one they've scored. And the Bulldogs trying to defend this record of theirs. They've won their last seven straight. The Warriors, 14-4 at halftime. Strap in wherever you are. Enjoy the ride here on Fox. This is huge. Massive. Enormous. Oh, oh, it's unbelievable. Amazing. Wow. This is Hollywood stuff. Every game of the Big Bash Finals, live with no ad breaks during play. Don't miss a thing. You are watching something you will never forget. If you want to bowl faster tomorrow, 
You need sports nutrition you can trust today. INT Sports Nutrition is banned substance tested and informed sports certified. INT Sports Nutrition, powering tomorrow, today. Julio bought cheap car insurance with cheap accident repair. Don't risk bargain regret. Next time, join the A-Team, hey, Julio. Who offers great value cover you won't regret? Amy does. On now at Harvey Norman. Hot deals for back to school. Like this feature-rich HP 15S laptop. Only $698. Huge value in the Racetech Gaming Desk and Chair Package. Just $599. Hot price on the amazing LG InstaView French Door Quad Door Fridge with Craft Ice and Water Dispenser. Bonus local delivery on selected mattresses and bedroom furniture purchases over $999. Shop these deals and more in-store and online. Now at Harvey Norman. You don't need to change your whole life to be in the Army Reserve. Just give from as little as one night a week, one week in a month, or a few weeks a year, and we'll give you what the everyday can't. Your life, plus Army Reserve. We were out and these ladies asked who the older brother was. Man, he's five years older. Hey, bro. He had more hair than me then. Make today your turning point, and the doctors at Ashley and Martin could help regrow your hair. Do you like it? I, I love it. it. Yeah. yeah. Now when you go pre-owned, you can enjoy the same feeling you get with a new Toyota. Tested and backed by Toyota. Upgrade your car, mate. This? Yeah. No big deal. Toyota certified. Pre-owned in a class of its own. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Welcome back to football as it's meant to be. Everybody wanna walk like me, wanna talk like me, but it's chalk and cheese, y'all. Everybody wanna be like me, wanna see like me, but this don't come free, y'all. If you wanna be the best like me, pass a test like me, better bring your A game. If any, to keep that record intact of seven straight wins for the Bulldogs, but John Simon in his first appearance as captain for the Warriors has them ahead by 10, 14-4. As we start the second 40, Hermanson. Play, come on, first half was good, don't spoil it. Hoppy. Now Jason Deeth. Running game tonight from that lock forward position Down with Mears at hooker. Hermanson. Four hands off. Jones. Inside. Inside. Didn't quite oh, need it. Sends it straight down to Silver. Now that they'll look to in this second half, turn things around. Oh, Masri. They will. They'll have to watch the Al Mazzari and Rod Silver from broken play or counter attack. Just two, two real danger weapons Burn for this Bulldog side. Fighting their way out, Stand their own territory, right. crossing that 50. Darren Britt. Support was coming back on the inside. He was well wrapped up. Right Last here. tackle against the Bulldogs. Go. Stewart. Kicking well away from Beverly. He goes out looking for Odell Manuel. And the quick play of the ball. Manuel well taken. Joe Wagner. Just keep pounding away through their extra size in the forwards. Tua Mavavi ducking under the tackle of Ridden. Logan Swan, pretty solid first half from him. Look at great de defensive hits and a terrific kick to lay on the try for Nigel Wagner. This kick is way over the head of Silver. Will it stay in play? It might. It just goes dead. Gambled on it, Silver, backed himself. 
Bulldogs go back to the 20. Well, that's a great opening set from the Warriors. Going down right to the last tackle before they choose to kick. Always a problem if the defenders chase up hard on you and put some pressure on you. And now, a simple turnover, a coffer from Perry at the play the ball area. Well, Tony, I think both coaches would have had plenty to say at halftime about the mistakes with the hands. Yeah, certainly Mark Grant said to really watch the errors in their own 22. Also to keep the kicking game going, he was pretty happy with that, but to have more options on attack near the try line. And he also said to put a lot more pressure on Ricky Stewart in his, when he's kicking the ball. So he wants those markers chasing out and putting a lot more pressure on Ricky. Here's a danger man. Steve Folks, on the other hand, just said but to cut Hang on, Tony, they go short side. Jones, great ball up for Hobby. to and often a play they set up with Logan Swan at the back out quickly and hopping to the corner well it's a set play they've tried this one all year tried to make it happen this time Stacey Jones thought he might have gone a shade too long with the run but he puts it over to Sean Hoppy and he, Sean will be wrapped with that one Joined the Warriors suggested as a miss to fix it. He's going to fix the goal kicking duties tonight anyway. What a restart for Auckland after that comfort from half time. 20 to 4. And a good quick play of the ball frame as well as Nigel Bogner just goes straight ahead and loses it cold and gives it back up to the Bulldogs. Yeah, the Bulldogs will be disappointed. If they just haven't been able to tag some support play onto some good half breaks and both their ball players are working overtime Glenn Hughes and Stewart trying to find some runners Troy Stone Two ten mistakes in their own half the Bulldogs Warriors have still made plenty of themselves Norton and Halligan to the corner touch judges flag stays down Great finish from Halligan, and they'll go upstairs to check it. This was an absolute photo finish. Is it a Warrior player or a Halligan that's taken? There's the ball down there. Now. Now, Halligan looked to get it down, and then you're going to argue whether it's the Warriors taking the flag. Odell Manuel. We talked about a photo finish. The ball is... The ball's just about cutting grass, and I think it's Manuel that takes the post. Well, it's hard to say with the video ref, but for mine, Daryl Halligan, he's got there. Okay. I can't disagree with him. There's plenty here that will. Which is good as he is. He claims this certainly helped his... Accuracy, bringing it around Halligan from right out on the sideline, absolutely brilliant. Gotta keep their minds on the job. That is John Simon's job now against the great escape merchants, the Bulldogs. Don't let it slip at all. Tom of Arby on the inside. Mears saw a chance. Robert Mears looking for one against his old club. They just got there in time. Sears Sioux turning in the tackle. Jones just juggled it for a minute. Simon. Clever ball for Beverly. Now Nigel Buggin out of the corner. That's great hands. He gets a double. And whilst it might have been Jones laying on the first two, just check the clever ball from John Simon under pressure to pop it up and send them outside their man. Smart play from the Warriors. Look at the width of the passes. Two plays, they're already 60 metres across the paddock, and it's just nice drawing pass from Cliff Beverly and Nigel Vagani. He's had a real top game tonight. Yeah, he certainly has, and it slows the Canterbury while they're trying to cut down on the areas, but the penalty they gave away set this try up. But that man there, John Simon, you caught it, he saw it was a tremendous pass. He's having a whale of a game. And close to the line, this guy's got some pace. 
Hits it pretty well. Simon. What can he do tonight? They couldn't kick anything early. Now everybody's kicking everything. Jones comes up with the steal now for Tua Mavavi to take it towards the midfield. And just a simple ball, one-on-one, -on -one stripped from Jones. Good thinking. They might even think about one point. Joe Wagner. Why not on the last tackle? Simon. Logan Schwann. Charged onto that one. Nigel Wagner looking for a hat trick. Nigel Wagner! Can he get it down? Terrific defense in the end. And he gets denied his third. And that's a good ruling from Paul McBlain again. Not wasting time. No hesitation. Didn't go upstairs. But a good blindside run from Nigel Wagner. Ducks her head down. And the defense, our Masary's underneath them. Glenn Hughes comes over as they roll him to stop him from laying that ball down. What will they do? Went blindside last time from the scrum. Staying open this time. Simon. Hermanson. Lauertiti. Plenty of ball in the second half, and they've dominated this end of the field. Well, they've, had, they've added some variety to their game. On that occasion, they had from the scrum, they had Terry Hermanson standing out at the centre. To Mavavi, spinning it back to Logan Swan. Hermanson. Jones! Jones will get there! Littlest man they've got, but he's ridden pretty strongly on the back of a huge pack of forwards tonight who have really ground this out. Well, it's smart play again from the Warriors, working it closely around the ruck. Just a, a roll forward, nothing malicious in that. Logan Swan struggles to his feet, and again, it's just that little dart out from dummy half. Terry Hermanson does well to attract some defenders. Good work, Stacey Jones. Yeah, but it's all down to their forwards. As Graham said, they have paved the way here. Stacey Jones just gathering around the forwards. Nice little plan move there, Tuma Barbie. Nearly going to come off if they had to keep their feet. But Stacey Jones sees the big forwards going in here. He just hovers, hovers around. Hermanson takes a two or three. Nice little gap. Stacey doesn't need a big gap, and he's straight through. Won't bring this one around. But the Warriors absolutely in control at 30 to 10. Robert Mears will enjoy this against the old club, the Bulldogs, with a win tonight. And the Warriors will be desperate that the Bulldogs don't cross their line in this remaining few seconds. Norton. Good. And Hughes. Get back quickly now for maybe something at the finish for the Bulldogs. Time's just about gone. This should be it. Hermanson goes in to slow it down, gives up another penalty. And a quick tap restart, but it finishes short. The Warriors at home grab their second win at Ericsson this season. What a game from the captain. John Simon, just his second game for Auckland. He gets the captaincy, and did he show them the way home tonight? He gets them there at 30 to 10.